welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, and I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Uh, today's topic is going to be about how to speak your truth. What we're talking about uh, speaking our truth. So uh, let's put it this way. For example, let's say that... Um, are you single? Are you married? I have been. You have been married. Do you have children? Yes. You do. Okay. All right. How many children do you have? Two. Two. Do you have the equal relationship with, with both of them? About two same. Yeah. Does ever any, any of them bother you or say something or do something that disturbs you? Not really. Not really. Oh, okay. What about your ex? What, uh, is he around? Is he alive? or he... He's alive and we are very good friends nowadays. Right. And, okay. And so it came... I found this on the web for around. Is he alive? So it did come to a point that you separated, correct? Yes. Okay. Did you... Was it your idea or his idea or both my, of you? My. My. Your, your idea. So... So... What made you want to separate? I was unhappy. Right. So did you tell him that? Yes. Okay. So you said your truth. Yes, I did. Right. So what I'm talking about the truth in this particular settings today is that's what I'm talking about. Okay. How right. it is for me. Right. Your, your truth that you're not happy any longer in this marriage. Uh, union and you know you put up with it you do you do whatever you can to make it work naturally for most people that's the case because um, you have children together you live together you have common property together maybe common animals together whatever and then it comes to a point that you just your soul is dying you feel like you're really you're not flourishing, you're not really doing what you really want to do, and also there's no more juice in the relationship, and it's not happening. That joy, that fun, that spark, uh, it's gone, and things are very monotone, they're boring, you're not feeling alive, you just feel like a robot, and you're going through the motions, and you're just doing things to be a good wife or whatever, but inside you something's dying. And then you bring it out, and as uncomfortable as it is, but you have to share this with your husband. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. So, and when you want to share such a truth with your husband or your partner, uh, wife, whomever, then there is moments that um, it's scary before you speak your truth. Um, you're, you're worried. There is fear or concerns that how is this other person going to react to me? How are they going to take it? Are they going to get hurt? So we're hesitant about it. Am I, am I right? Okay. So far, are we on the same page? Yes. Right. So you had to take a deep breath and, and build up your courage before you tell your, your ex-husband that this is not happening anymore. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not of those people who are afraid of con confrontations, so it was not so deep this, but I was not he heard, so there was nothing to do. Right, you weren't heard. Yes. Right, okay, and that's the case for a lot of us. But anyway, you spoke your truth, and then you went through your separation. Yes. Right, so... And that's the case, the 
what about uh, this is you know in general I'm just asking everybody well thank you for sharing uh, Eva I appreciate it uh, what about the time let's say you have a good friend and you really care about your friend but your friend starting to have bad breath and something's wrong with their teeth and they're having bad breath and you you're hanging out together and your friend kind of likes to get close to you talking to you and you're smelling the bad breath and um, you're just wondering how am I going to tell my friend this or what if you're starting to date somebody and uh, they have bad breath but you really like the person you like their character you like the way they look you like the way they carry themselves but there is this one problem and how are you how do you say that I mean that's your truth you have to speak your truth to them because unless this problem is corrected you won't be able to be close to them you especially if you're intimate with them so that is uh, then it becomes a concern of how am I gonna speak my truth anybody has ever experienced something like that yeah right so it's an uncomfortable situation isn't it let me see hi Stephanie Stephanie I'm trying to unmute you oh yeah hello I got you. yeah hi hello. Stephanie welcome thank you very much pleasure to be here likewise uh, yes um, I find my personality is I can take care of everyone else so I don't have a hard time mentioning a, a health concern it's when it comes to me I neglect myself right right and uh, that's very common a lot of us do mm -hmm. that yes so, yeah and so that's one thing well, let's hold this here let's put this here I'm gonna come back to this one and what about you're with a friend and you love this person and or it's your mom or it's your dad or your brother or somebody that you're close to and you're having you're eating and they have a habit they're eating and they're talking and sometimes particles of food flies out out of their mouth have you ever been in that situation with somebody you care for yeah and that's a very uncomfortable situation too I mean either you have to tolerate it that whenever you're they're talking they're chewing they're eating food and they're anxious to tell you a story and particle of food goes out so what do you do 